next, our main event, a matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. While the road to middleweight golden glory still goes through Sydney, Australia, Robert Whitaker is the man, and just don't call him Bobby Knuckles, he'll be okay. I just don't understand how he does not embrace this nickname. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect for Robert Whitaker. But he's one of those guys that doesn't jump off the page. He's one of those guys that you don't look at and go, oh my goodness, he's one of the most dangerous man, men in the world. But he is. He has unbelievable skill. He has a wrestling background, was able to stay up right against Yoel Romero, who's the world Olympic silver medalist, was able to knock out Jacare Souza. Just a truly tremendous mixed martial artist since going up to 185 has truly found his group. And the Reaper, as they call him, always says, the best place to break your hand is inside the octagon. He's done it before. He's not afraid to do it again. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge today. Take for this middleweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 25 wins, six losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Sydney, Australia, presenting the challenger, Robert Whitaker. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground. They want to strike. Tonight. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the city takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Ooh. 
start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Slips that left hand. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old doggies. You can't ah. take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And both guys really throwing with authority. He lands a switch knee. Oh, Superman punch. Oh, Whitaker closes the distance here, DC. Let's see if he can capitalize. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Just misses there with the left. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, spinning back fist lands. Sound defensively blocks the shot. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right hand punch in the clinch. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Robert Whittaker. Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with those strikes. Oh, collar tie. And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, what a punch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, lands a vicious uppercut to the head. Beautiful uppercut. Shades of Mike Tyson on punch out back in the day. You could take one of those uppercuts or you would go down. Mike Tyson or maybe it was Super Sandman. One of those <laughs> guys just had a crazy uppercut. Oh, beautiful. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's got his back now. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. <laughs> Side control now. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. One minute now to go in round one. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Whitaker. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you gotta wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question.
Second round underway. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Great punch. How about that chin? Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. And there comes the separation now. Oh, effective use of the jab by Robert Whitaker. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. The right hand just misses. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, he always brings his hands right back to his face. Good jab. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Nice shot to the body there. Now connects with a right. All right, he engages in the oh, same. Oh, useful side. trip right there to get the takedown out of the clinch. Single collar tie now. Whitaker's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swinging a miss by Whitaker. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Him. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? and just misses with that big right hand. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Nice loop and punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Single collar tie now. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Very powerful, very, very explosive. And he switches to southpaw here yet again. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Whitaker goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, big left. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Final seconds here. 
Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Nice punch there by Whitaker. Well, just as he did the previous round, continue. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Really starting to make these shots count. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the grounded pound starts. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Whitaker. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Whitaker ground and pound from half guard now. Oh, and he escapes up to his... That one appeared to stun him. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Whitaker's has got full mount now. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 20 seconds of round number three. Going the winner by knockout and new USC middleweight champion of the world, Robert Whitaker. All right, so we got a new UFC middleweight champion, and this is a title that no one can ever take away from you. He's got a UFC belt at his home for the rest of his life. For the rest of his life. And they say it takes a village to build a champion. Look behind him, celebrating with his coach.